Eyewitness News has in-depth coverage and reaction to Governor Gina Raimondo's State of the State Address. I am excited about the progress that we've made together in the past year, but there's more to do and we have to keep going. Some of the main topics in the governor's address included proposing to increase spending on education, increasing spending on worker training and offering business incentives, and she also called on lawmakers to help fix the state's roads and bridges by passing her roadworks plan. Highway News News has live in-depth coverage for you. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi is standing by, breaking down the address further. But first, let's get a reaction from both sides of the aisle, from Perry Russum, who's live at the State House. Job creation was a major theme in the governor's state of the state. She says a way to invest in the future is by investing in the students who will become the workforce. My vision for Rhode Island is a vision of a state where everybody can make it in Rhode Island. In a joint session of the General Assembly, Governor Gina Raimondo outlined her vision for the state. A major part of that is investing in public education. The governor wants to redirect money from charters to traditional public schools and pay for all public high school students to take the SAT. Tonight, I'm proposing we invest another $50 million to rebuild public schools all across this state. I think it's something that we, we uh, solely need, and I'm, I'm very pleased with that uh, commitment to investment. The governor says she wants to take on what she calls the public health crisis of drug overdose deaths. In the gallery were Richard and Elise Reynolds, who lost two sons to drug overdoses. These people need to be educated about what overdose is, what opiate addiction is. The governor says she wants to drop the number of opioid-related deaths by one-third in the next three years. We can do this if we focus on four areas, treatment, overdose reversals, prevention, and recovery. That's what we're going to do. That's what we need to do, and anything less is unacceptable. We stand committed uh, behind her effort in that regard. Representative Brian Newberry is the House Minority Leader. He calls the governor's overall budget vanilla. Even the items that I do not like, um, I wouldn't say they're terrible. They're just not very good. They're not worthy of support. In the coming weeks, the Education Commissioner will outline a new plan that mirrors closely what Massachusetts has done. Remember, they have one of the best education systems in the country. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.